Are, we, are girls more um, prone to health issues or are they just more open about it? Also? I think it's definitely possible to be uh, or uh, be among the best in your sport without any health issues. Yeah. I, I hardly have any health issues and um, I've been, as a lot of people know, I've been using Bismil for six years and like in the last year I haven't been sick and nothing and I used to be sick more often but um, yeah, I, why do why do they um, I think there's definitely when you live a healthy life and you're balanced uh, every single day or try to to stay balanced through the whole season that you don't have to have any health issues, you don't have any you don't have a lot of health issues. Rachel looks very healthy, doesn't she? <laughs> She's glowing. Yeah. She's glowing. <laughs> so I was in makeup for an hour. <laughs> I just chewed a bice milk. That's not my skin. So maybe the question should be: Is it possible to 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 be among the best in your sport yeah. and not have any health exactly. issues? Because I do think it's definitely possible it's when it's you good have good a good body you. perception. Mm -hmm. You listen to your body yeah. every single day. Then it is possible. You, you just give have to lessons of one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's just like when Siri yeah. can give me a schedule and she, like I did a race this last Sunday and now yesterday she only had a swim on there. But when I really felt crap, I did the swim, but I didn't push and didn't do anything she didn't know that i swam that slow but you know i just that she does, doesn't care because it's my You're it's my like body i know now. i know what my body needs and you just everybody in this time everybody loses their contact with themselves mm -hmm. like but deep I, I deep you, within yeah. that's very good but i think you'd be surprised at how many people don't have that relationship yeah. with how they yeah but they should yeah. because otherwise should, you can't have a healthy yeah. balance in this kind of sport and i think girls are better with that not to be insulted for guys but i i have spoken to a lot of pro guys and i have one very fast skinny one at home and they just don't listen to their body as much as we do like they will just push their training on and why should you? Your body's giving you a signal. It's a signal. It's not doing that for nothing. Listen to it. I love your article, the little voice in you, and I think it's very, very true. And probably it's the the solution to the problem. It's listening to your body, and and I actually really do agree with Yvonne. I was trained under the mindset that oh well, you know, if you're going to be one of the best athletes in the world, you're going to get injured. Period. Yeah. I don't. I don't believe that. I don't think you have to get injured to be one of the best athletes in the world. I think that you need to be smart and you need to be willing, you know, and Beck's great at this and Yvonne, I know you're great at this as well. If there's something that's even slightly niggly, I'll say three days off, no running, and so that it's gone in three days. But the problem is that, that the hardest thing is, is our ability to stop when we want to keep going. And it's like an addiction. We want to keep going. We can't. We're going to get unfit. But the people that push through that niggle, suddenly they're out for two months. Mm -hmm. So you have a choice. And, and what I try and tell my athletes is that in that moment, think, would I rather take two days off now or three days off now or three months and get this session done? I mean, I have this article is publishing, I think, in the trial magazine, he was true, observing that all those athletes who be, have been injured and had to have a break for a longer period of time have been more successful afterwards. Yeah. Exactly. You, and, and I think as a coach, it's easier to say because as an athlete, I would have a day off and I, the day I came back, I thought, oh, I'm completely unfit. I can't swim anymore. I can't bike anymore. I can't run anymore because I had one day off. But now at my, you know, wiser age and being a coach, I realize that you can literally, you can have two weeks off and you'll lose a minute bit of fitness. What you lose is your feel, but that comes back within three or four days. And I think that, so Yvonne is correct in that you are one of, you know, you know how to listen to your body. You know when you need rest. Um, and, and you're great at You know, great at I that. get very grumpy. Yeah, yes, I, and I can read. I can't yeah. <laughs> so you can read, but, it, but what I hope for is that it's not me saying you need to stop, mm -hmm. but that they can find it within themselves to know. And I think that that's almost something you need to practice just like you do need to train your swim, your bike, and your run. You need to really get connected yeah. to... And yourself. it's the same for a professional athlete or for an amateur. The, when you have a coach, the schedule is a, a guideline, but 
the best coach is it's the combination of, a, of your coach and you yourself, yourself, the only one that can feel. And you have to read yeah. your own experiences. I get messages from amateurs and they're sick. Oh, in two weeks I have my Ironman. And then they go out for a bike ride. They have fever. It's like your body needs the energy to get rid of whatever is going on. And you, you don't go for a bike ride when you have fever, right? So, yeah, we should be an example for, for them, right? Yeah. <laughs>